It was just over a decade and a half ago mm -hmm. where it was illegal to be gay in China and it was considered a mental illness. That's right. Um, but despite all the strides and the progress, there's still a lot of prejudice against the gay community in China. It's not explicitly legal now, but at least the, the Sodomy Act is decriminalized. Mm. Yeah. And in other aspects, it's not mentioned in the law. Mm. Uh, so it is not explicitly legal or illegal. Now it is not a crime and uh, it is not an illness and it doesn't require treatment, I think is a big progress. The Chinese Communist Party, what is its official and unofficial line on gay rights in China? Uh, you know, I think there's like a kind of like a, you know, three no, you know, no support, not against it, but not, you know, uh, you know how to say. Oh, advocacy. Yeah, advocacy. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of like a unofficial, official position. Would you agree with that? Yes. Um, at the same time, you know, as um, an, you know, NGO founder on, on this kind of issue, we got constant uh, 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 visit by, uh, you know, the, the public security, the, the, the national security officials. Hmm. And they also mentioned to me that, well, we are neutral in homosexuality, mm -hmm. but uh, if the community or the popula LGBT population is being mobilized or if there are NGOs who try to do um, too much uh, stepping, you know, across the line, in, in out of the line, in, in promoting it in a way that would uh, cause instability, then, then we are not okay. And so the party's main concern here is maintaining social harmony, even that's in right. the gay community that's across right. China. Yeah.